Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron with one of the greatest Christian classics of all of history, Fox's Book of Martyrs. I've read this through three or four times over the years, and this is just a couple of really good editions. This one is Spire, the paperback. And I think Spire may be like Ravel or something. We may check on that. And then this is just one by Hendrickson. I really like the Hendrickson kind of what they call the Christian Classics editions. They remind me so much Barber years ago, Barber Publishing, who does such phenomenal stuff out of Ohio, um, had a Christian Classics thing. They were red with gold, and they did so good. They were only like $7.99, and these are really inexpensive too. Um, and I got these for some leaders at the church, got it for I'm a presbyter in our little section and did that. Um, so Rome's errors refuted, a leader of the Lollards, the shining gospel like John Wycliffe. This just goes into so much. In a sense, it reminds me of McBurney's book, The Search for the Twelve Apostles, because it really goes into that. So the persecution of the early Christians, the story of Constantine the Great, John Wycliffe, Lollards, Martyrs of Scotland. I've been doing some research on the Martyrs of Scotland. That's, that's pretty intense. Like they dedicated Scotland to Jesus with this covenant back several hundred years ago and it's just like really intense the things that they've suffered and so there's a lot of people uh, that still cling to that covenant an account of the life and persecutions of Martin Luther and uh, so this one the little hardback let me just like take a look at the little hardback so you can get maybe a feel for the print size and all that kind of stuff in case you want to get one but it is the type thing I just recommend every Christian reading at least once I think DC Talk came out with a uh, an edition of like modern day martyrs because like the British are really up on this like I, I get a lot of stuff from Britain I forget the name of their human rights division but Christians are the most persecuted in this paperback edition persecuted group in the world like a hundred thousand Christians either side every year are normally martyred or genocide for their faith you know Boko Haram in Nigeria and then you know certain different groups and certain Islamic countries and stuff and it's just it's tough all who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer, suffer persecution so this one is like uh, the paperback is 409 pages and it didn't have like an index or anything in there. Good print, the great print. It's beautifully well done, the cover. And then uh, that's one of the my paintings I've got. Sister Alder may have bought me that. Um, of the Christians to the lions and the Roman Colosseum, the lions coming up. Because I've just always had this connection with martyrs. I don't know. 373 thus ended the existence of this Nimrod of England persecutions in England so it's 373 pages and it does have a little glossary and then Tudor monarchs um, so this is just you know great history unbelievable Fox the real thing I've got on the video one of the very first videos we ever did at New Life of Albany is the three volume unedited these are actually only four percent of his work and Fox's work he went through eight different editions so some of the early ones have uh, maybe some oneness people and stuff in it and some of the later ones he kind of weeded them out so amazing Fox's Book of Martyrs one of the greatest books of history so God bless talk with you later let's live for Jesus pray for those in persecution in Jesus name amen